And now to continuing coverage of a murder case involving a Portsmouth police officer. Now, just days before Stephen Rankin's trial is scheduled to begin, a group of protesters is honoring the victim, William Chapman. Protesters marched through Walmart yesterday. Rankin was Rankin shot and killed Chapman in the parking lot there. Those protesters demanded justice. Rico Bush has more from that protest where the shooting took place. He joins us live on Frederick Boulevard now. Rico. Good morning, Katie. Don, as the final pieces in this case are finally been put into place for Rankin's murder trial this week, protesters against police brutality are demanding justice for Chapman, and they want people to remember that officer involved shooting. Last night, around 40 people, including the Coalition for Black Americans, marched at the Walmart on Frederick Boulevard and to remember Chapman. They lined up and marched to that store. Walmart managers initially locked the doors, but the staff eventually cleared a path and let the group through. And Tony Ursai got video right here of that rally. Protesters said they wanted to march on the same path William Chapman took the day he died in 2015. The rally finished in the parking lot where the group formed a circle to speak about Chapman's death. Let's make this clear. We do not hate the police. We don't have any problems with policemen. Of police officers. We have a serious problem with bad officers who continue to do what they do. Chapman's mother also spoke to the crowd yesterday. She talked about her loss and looking forward towards that murder trial this week. Now, Rankin's trial is scheduled to begin Wednesday with jury selection. However, a last ditch effort from his lawyer may stop that trial from even happening. I'll explain to you what's going on here at 630. I'm live in Portsmouth, Rico Bush, Tony Airside.